Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, John Megacycle here. Oh, another episode of Axiom Verge coming at ya. I just wanted to come back to the front menu and see how many of the items and map we've gotten. Uh, last episode we ended on, things were going to be... Like, we're getting closer and closer to the end game. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to figure out whether or not we had to do a lot more double back kind of work. Make sure that we've got enough gear and equipment and everything before we really move forward with the rest of the game, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so there's a few spots here that are iffy. Uh, let's see, what was I looking for? That's all done. Well, according to this, it looks like there's some map we haven't finished there. I guess from everything I can see, I'm pretty satisfied with everything. Maruru is what well, looks like the final area. So where the heck are we again? I want to go left and then up. So creepy how different this room is now. But there is... How did I get up there before? I know I've done this before. Perfect. Okay, then this happened. And we did everything over there, but there's a little bit... Huh. I can't remember, was there anything else here? There was an item down here which we've already gotten, and now I can't do anything else down here anyway, which is fine. I kind of want to get that last piece of the map though. None of that works. I legitimately don't think there's anything up there. Which is unfortunate because that's the chunk of the map I'll never find. That one creature that was going back and forth, I don't remember if that was here or where that was, but seems a little important, maybe. Okay, we're gonna go all the way down from Ukana. We're gonna check out the little bit of map that I have that's not mapped there. And then maybe come back up and uh, see how we're feeling. That is so dope. That is just too good. I like that ability very much. Oh, missed. <laughs> okay. I sit down, want to do some recording. Okay. It's just a notification from work. Not a big deal. What the heck? Did all that crap come from, like, two areas ago? That was interesting. That was an interesting thing to have happen. Uh, yep, down some more. Uh, oh, there was something here, I think. Explode with life. Explode with life. Explode with life. Explode with life. No, this wasn't the room. There's another room like this, though. That... Yeah, it, it, I go to the left, and after, like, halfway through, I realize, yeah, I have to be able to have some cool new ability or something, because I can't do this with my current gear. And I fully explored that area as well, so I have no idea what it might look like on the map. Other than... It's a room that I know I enter from the right, go left about two or three tiles, and that's it.
Oh yeah, I remember this now. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. How in the heck would this work? Cool, like that. Okay. Uh, the drone can't climb up walls, can it? And no matter how quickly it hit up, there's a long enough of a cooldown. It does not allow me to do... Yeah. Yeah, I'm losing momentum every time. Okay, well, mystery of our lives. I'll never know what that is or how that works or whatever, and that's fine. Uh, ba 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 ba. I think I got everything there. Even though I clearly haven't. Well, I'm pretty convinced with how much we've gotten that we're ready to just proceed on to the end game. I guess I, I just wanted to see real quick if I could find that room. Maybe it's in Eden. There's a couple of pieces in Eden I wouldn't mind to clean out, so to get to Eden, just go to the right. Easy. So maybe we'll do a little bit of shopping this episode. Like, uh, just give another fine tooth comb, take a look at other stuff. Wait a minute, I know how to get to that room. I think. Yeah, I know how to get to that room now. It looks like you actually fall down from the top of it. This won't take long to backtrack. It's totally fine. So kind of what I'm thinking is I'd like to hit this one spot up here. And then go back to Eden. Clear out some of the map there as well. Not necessary. Like, this isn't critical stuff, but... If it's another weapons add-on, or a health add-on, or something, I'm interested. Color me interested. This is... It doesn't matter which way. Oop. My phase didn't work. There we go. Thank goodness the warping and everything is instant. Like I said, ugh. If that took more than half of a second, I think I'd never use it. Or maybe I'd use it, but... <laughs> I just want to pass through, sir. Go all the way left and then down. So, I guess at this stage of the game, I'm going to assume I have almost all the gear. Uh, when it really comes down to it, I don't really see a good way, or a smart way, or whatever, to speedrun any of this. Wanna make sure I got everything here. Yes, I think I did. Um, I think I need all the items. I think I need everything to progress the next area. Um, what I'm guessing is I'd have to rely on some kind of a glitch. Is it Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. And that clears out the map. It lands me here. Neat. Okay. Well, I've discovered all the thing, then. It's the first egg we've ever seen that's empty, though. And now has not respawned, so... Maybe a bit of a trick. I don't know. I don't know.
Yeah, each of the phase the phase cloaks, the drone throw, the extended drone throw, all that stuff seems to be required to get to this very end part of the game. Unless there's something very clear I'm missing, or like I said, there's most likely some sort of a glitch. <clears throat> While using Kilver and holding all directions at the same time and pressing jump, you can fly or something. Who knows? Who knows? Ah, oh, come on. Beans. Nope. Ah, oh, wrong button. Oh, you can tell I'm tired. There we go. All right, here we go. Here we go, kids. No, oh, there is something up there. Cool. Okay, okay. We'll get there. Ah, the ability wasn't ready, so then I hit it as a reaction, and now I threw it in the wrong direction. Incredibly good stuff. Incredibly good stuff. Yeah, all I'm doing is just tapping grapple as often as I can. So that's a fragment, not a full boy. Yep, that's fine. Love it when I can just kite enemies like that and I don't have to worry about it. Come on. One more. Yep, there we are. Okay, I wonder how that's gonna work. Dang it! <laughs> now I'm just being sloppy. Ugh. Alright. I should have woken up a little bit more before. I wanted to give this a go. Or I should have given this a go, but I wanted to give this a go. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. Oh, there's another, there's another, uh, syringe, another nano mind thing, whatever. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, nope. I don't have any real good movement tech that builds like a platform or anything to give me any amount of time to do that. To do what I'm trying to do. There's nothing to grapple up there either. Whoops. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> now I'm, <laughs> I'm... I'm half asleep kind of a thing? <clears throat> I'm also trying to cut down my caffeine intake, so now the problem is... I'm just not paying attention. Yeah, that was that was exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, I think that was exactly Yeah, plunk transform phase shift. I think that's what I'm looking for. Dang it. This is totally it's totally doable. I'm just tired. Yep, oh, whoops. But this is totally a thing that can be done, I think. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay, what does this one give me? Bioflux Accelerator. Causes mutation at max health, okay. Oh, I don't have 100% health, okay. Okay, I think I got everything there. Uh, oh, right. I can't see the map when I'm in drone mode. But up, but a drone mode. Um, yeah, that was totally worth it. 
check that out real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else? What else do I think might be important that I might be missing? I wouldn't mind if we could go back to Kerr. There's that one boss room I'm looking at, and that was that's something that piqued my interest because there was a door. You enter from the left side of the room, and you exit to the right, but there's also a large door opening to the to the up, if that makes sense. And I'd like to see what that's all about. I'm gonna go up and to the left a little bit. I genuinely want to see if that's the room I'm thinking of. Nope. That's what I wanted to do, but whatever. <laughs> it worked. Yep, this is the room. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I got like here and I'm like, I don't know how this is ever gonna work. It's a full, full health, right? Excellent sauce. Okay, yep. That's... Perfect. Whew! I didn't remember if it was like two wide or three wide or two oblong or what the heck. And up top... I think that's where I fought that bee. I wouldn't mind double checking though. I'm definitely not going to be coming back here. Oh, I'm very confident I got everything here because this is where we got the... Uh... Better... Oh no, this isn't where we got the better cove. This is where we got the drone... The drone technology, I think. Anyway, it'll be really quick, quick check. So yeah, I've got one more piece on my shopping list. I'd like to go back to Kerr. Why is it still making noises? That last room we were just in was still making weird... respiratory, creepy... Alright, I'm satisfied. Yep, and then this is drone transference. Cool. Oh, the mutation is literally just another... Another shooty type out of my body, which is still cool. The problem is abilities at full life. What it really comes down to, it's tantamount to either a. Um, I, I really don't get a long time to experiment with it because it's a full life mechanic, so I don't really get to enjoy it. Or the second thing is, it turns the player into an uber-conservative player because they want to remain at full health as long as possible. That makes it a little difficult for me to want to really, like, enjoy it. Because the second I get hit once, even if it's for one point of damage, it's already gone. But oh, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to do a little more exploring here. Nope. Okay. That's fine. I'm satisfied. Jumpies, yep. Huh. 
thought there was a third. Oh well. I think we've already done this. Yeah, I think this was for a range extender. It's so weird why that is that. Yeah. Okay. Nope, I'm satisfied. There it was, okay. Good stuff. <clears throat> that static is such a cool effect, even if it is a little annoying. Alright, I'm out of breach bombs. Address disruption grenadios or whatever the heck they're called. Grenaditos. And now I have full bombs. Thank goodness I remember adjust disrupting them. That's hard to say. I'm glad I remember Ad just disrupting these guys give me, like, full health or full bombs or something. Okay. Yes, there is a thing over there I could probably do something with. Oh, uh, I guess not. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Alright, well at least the map is clearish. Did that get us 100%? No, there's still other stuff somewhere. Which is fine. Um, I wanna go up and right and up and right and up and right and up and right and all that. At least I think that's where... Yes, that is absolutely where I'm thinking of. Ow, <laughs> that didn't work. I think this is my favorite track. Wait a minute. Look at the background. Look at the blue, the blue, the blue background. Look at it all the way out there. <clears throat> Why is it all CRT-ish right now? Is there another secret Nintendo room somewhere? Oh! Nice! I'm gonna save. Okay. So, there is an indication as to whether or not those rooms are nearby. If your screen gets all jacked. I just happened to notice it. I'm like, I don't remember this area having, like, the scan lines. Yeah, see? Crystal clear, right? Come on, there we go. Yeah, I got right here. And it was like, something's weird. Something is indeed weird. Well, glad we double backed. Holy crap.
That's what I wanted to do. Kill for him up. Okay, I think I got him. Whoa. Cool. Life shard? I'll take it. Elf node fragment, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so kind of same philosophy on this room. I don't think I'm willing to spend a too much time to try to figure out all the secrets of the prize, but I'll get the one or two key items that are in here, we'll explore the whole map and everything, and that'll be sufficient for me. That was so cool. there was more to go. It's not. That looks suspicious. No? Okay. Uh, okay. Man, that phasing is stupid powerful. Make this room really easy. There we go. Now we've got laser boys on our side. Thanks for the bomb. Man, I remember when you guys were scary. Now nothing. Wasn't I just here? Ah, huh. no, this room just looks incredibly similar to a different room. Uh... So does this room? Like, exactly similar? not the same room, but I'm starting to get a little mind screwy going on here. Cool, size node. Amazing. I'll take it. I love it. Let's do it. Neat way to get some health. Okay, so that's all handled. Uh, left and then down. This, oh, this room also looks exactly the same as the other one. Okay, this is starting to get too creepy.
Yeah, I could not have done this area at a lower level. I'm very certain of that. The movement tech required? A little heavy. Not bad. Just... Okay, quick gander. We go right up and the heck out of here. It's hard to tell what's wall, what's floor, what's something I can or can't pass through. Oh. oh, it's so bright again. Okay. Uh, what, what did we get out of that? Size node? And, uh, health fragment? I'd probably call that worth it. This looks like this does connect somehow. I honestly don't remember how. Oh, yes, now I do. Um, there we go. So this is the area I wanted to explore. Right? Nope. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now! <laughs> right here. So the whole... Th that makes me think there's something up here, which I couldn't really explore before. Now that I'm Trace, though, maybe something? Nope. Okay. Cannot phase through that. Good stuff. Uh, for as much screwing around as there could possibly be, I don't know how much I'm willing to deal with that. Probably the answer is no. Okay, any other... I don't think there's any other places in my head that are like, oh, I really ought to check that out. Really ought to go back and whatever, whatever. Um, Ukina is where we're gonna have to go. So we can go to Mara Maruru. This is all fox speak. And it's all uwu talk. This is all <laughs> This is all quite funny. Alright, we're done. We're done here. We're gonna head back. We're gonna get to the save point. We're gonna save the game. And then we're gonna call us an episode. Wow, these drones are more badass than I thought. Take a little damage, speed through it real quick. Works out nice. Um, 
Come on now. I could take... Oh, let's take the indie route. No reason for me to go all the way through Eden if there's nothing in Eden for me to get. I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm pretty happy we got everything. And yep. So I need the second up. Really enjoyed this game. Really happy I picked it up. Um, I would love to see an Axiom Verge randomizer if such thing could be a thing. I think that could be amazing. Because uh, I really enjoy these Metroidvania stylized games that have a little bit of familiarity. Like you know what you're doing. Like you, you're, you've played the game before. But enough randomness that it still feels quite different. Maybe that's an oxymoron. Maybe that doesn't make any sense. But still to point, like... I'll play the crap out of... Uh, was it? I even play... Oh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. The Super Nintendo one. I played the crap out of that randomizer style. That's a lot of fun, too. I should have just phased. I don't know why I didn't just phase. Don't worry, Mom. It's just a phase. <laughs> Wrong weapon. <laughs> Wrong weapon. There we go. Going the right way, right? Yeah, it's a bit of a scale. A bit of a bit of a climb. Ow, ass. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Is this a legit thing down here? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I Yeah, cool. I'll take yeah, I'll take a power node thing and do. I Huh. Much of this has been incredibly dumb luck. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I just, all I did was phase right through it. Just like this. That's all I did. That's cool as hell. All right, let me through. Back here, you jerk. That's what I thought. Okay. Let's do one more quick check here. The next area to go is, yeah, is the final countdown or whatever that is. You know what? I feel like talking to Ophelia first. Before we leave. She's on the left side. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be a long journey. Um, I kind of feel like there's a lot more I want to say about this game. Like, there's more nitpicking I want to do about it, but I don't really have anything to nitpick about, and that's probably a really good thing. I find myself incredibly satisfied with the gameplay, and the controls, and the motions, and the... You know, when do you get the stuff you're supposed to get? All that. It feels right. It feels good. I, I've enjoyed this game a lot. Nothing? 
Well, I enjoy these visits anyway, even if you don't want to talk to me. So yeah, so far, gut feels. Still 10 out of 10, really enjoyed this game. There's honestly not much or Can I kill you with the... Nope. Still can't do anything with these plants. But whatever. So, next episode, we are going to be going to the Tippity Tip Top, and we're going to see and face off Athetos. We think? I think? I don't know. There's a whole nother area. They said it's an elevator that goes through the breach. I'm interested to see what that entails. But let's wrap this up as an episode. Thank you all for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Axiom Verge is in the books. And I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.